Loving. Funny. Spectacular. Challenging. Relatable. Understanding. We must be prepared to move forward in the implementation of these rights to new goals of human happiness and well-being. I just want to do God's will. And he has allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people to the promised land. The fact that I'm here matters. The fact that you're there matters. This is no accident. None of us are. When you do well, people notice. When you do your best, people notice. And so wherever you are, always do your best. And doing your best put you at the next level. I'd like to thank my parents for their unconditional love. And also, thank you to all my wonderful teachers who inspired me to believe in myself and be brave. So the teacher that really kind of inspired me was my eighth grade science teacher, Mr. Sell. Um, he was really the first teacher I had who made time for us outside of class. Uh, he never made it seem like his top priority was us doing well on a test. Uh, his top priority was us as people. I had um, Betty Hips. I was at Cole Mountain Elementary. And she was my kindergarten teacher. And Annie Sanford was her assistant. And those two women were just amazing. Um, Betty Hips was the first adult that I ever met who had been adopted, and I was adopted as well. So she and I just kind of had a special bond from the very first day. She said one thing you have to always remember is that in life it isn't how you start out, it's how you decide to finish up. I always have kind of gone back to that, that everything I do is really, it's not about how I started in life as this poor abused kid or whatever, it's about how I'm going to finish, how many, how many lives can I impact. Kindergarten, my my teacher, she taught me to be like more confident with myself and talk to more people. Um, one of those times was um, in second grade when my second grade teacher she helped me like in English a lot because I was Asian and I always speak Chinese and um, that's what I mostly talked at home. And I did I wasn't very fluent in English and so she just gave me like extra attention and more help and finally by like the end of the grade like I have become better at it, like English and grammar and stuff like that. 